Tamale is one of the fastest growing cities in Ghana. It's estimated that 810 tons of waste is generated a day. Only 216 tons are collected and transported to the landfill site daily, leaving 594 tons uncollected a day. However, plastic constitutes about 59.6% of the waste generated in the metropolis. The Tamale landfill site is daily invaded by hundreds of women and children, scavengers from the nearby communities in the picking and the collection of plastic waste for recycling. Buari Enterprise, the only plastic waste recycling company established in the Yendi municipality in 2016 through the support of the EPA, seeks to establish a crushing center at the Tamale landfill site community to reduce the solid waste menace, plastic pollution, the cost of recycling of the plastic products in Yendi. Exploring the various opportunities during a tour of the largest landfill site in the northern region, the CEO of Baru Enterprise, Ali Duyakubu, outlined the rationale behind the establishment of the crashing site and the need to engage more women in the recycling business to enhance the livelihood of the community. As we came here, we see a lot of women are here. And most uh, the villages, the women, they, they, they are doing everything. So we are looking at when we come and settle in Ubalai, so that uh, it can create a job for women, more especially the collection center. There is 200 people can be in the collection center. And when it comes to the machine, uh, crushing and then the washing and salting can take almost 60 70 people so that is why we want to come and settle at Balai. He further said the company will explore house to house plastic collection in Tamale using tricycle. I see a lot of waste in gutters, more especially when there's a, r a rainfall. There is a lot of such a robots and then bottled water. Uh, bottles uh, water such as waste and then bottles water and we are thinking if we have a big machine that we can use it for salting so that uh, we can look for tricycles and then the cars so that we we'll go house house by houses and do the house collection so that uh, we can reduce the refuse in the tamale town and then entire the other communities. A scavenger at the landfill site in Tamale, Willie Adamu, welcomed the initiative and said every earning on the field is used in paying school fees as well as shared with his husband. <laughs> From Tamale, Noanash for GH1 News.